Okay guys, welcome to tutorial number five. Now, I not only want to explain to you the new features of ES2015, but also want to explain to you why they were required in the first place. What were some of the challenges in ES5 that led to the introduction of these new features in ES6? So before we start off with our very first ES2015 keyword, which is the let keyword, we need to have an understanding of hoisting and functional scope of the var declaration in JavaScript. So what I've done is created a new TypeScript file, tutorial5.ts, and when I build it, it's going to generate this tutorial5.js, which I have referenced here in our index.html. And within tutorial5.ts, I have a very simple function. So function greet person, which is going to accept name as a parameter, and if name is Chandler, then we have a var declaration assigning hello Chandler to the greet variable. If the name is not Chandler, then we have a var declaration assigning hi there to the greet variable. And then outside the if else block, we have console.log greet variable. And then finally, we call greet person with Chandler passing as the parameter. Now, when you build this, browser is going to refresh and we are going to get our output, hello Chandler. And if I change this to, change this to Chandle, it uh, displays hi there. So our function is working. Now, what you might be wondering is that we have two declarations of the greet variable. If the name is Chandler, then we have a declaration greet is equal to hello Chandler. And if the name is not Chandler, we have another var, uh, declaration assigning hi there to the greet variable. Now this might seem confusing if you're from, let's say, a C-sharp or a Java background, but in JavaScript, this is completely fine because of something known as hoisting. Now behind the scenes or behind the curtains, JavaScript is rewritten to have a single declaration of the variable at the top ignoring any duplicate declarations. So this declaration var greet and var greet is going to be rewritten as var greet over here. And this is going to be replaced with just greet. Now let's save this. Let's see if our, yep, it's still working fine. Hello Chandler. So this is how JavaScript is going to be rewritten. Now to prove to you that hoisting does exist, let me cut this and place it below console.log where we are using the greet variable. Now if I refresh, it is still hello Chandler. So this is known as hoisting in JavaScript where any var declaration is going to be moved to the very top of the function. So keep that in mind. Now the other thing that I wanted to discuss is the functional scope of the var keyword. So I'm going to undo the changes. Okay, one more, yep, okay. So even though var is declared inside the if block over here, we are still able to access the value outside the if block over here in our console.log. So a var declaration has a functional scope. It doesn't matter if you are declaring it within an if block or an else block or a for loop or a while loop, the, the value is going to be accessible within the function. So functional scope, keep that in mind as well. Now because of hoisting and functional scope, war declaration seems a bit tricky, which is why ES2015 introduced the let keyword, which we are going to be learning about in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.